Oh, hey, hold on real quick. I'm just going to finish my therapy session real quick. What up, everyone? Michael V. Petty here. Um, obviously, that was just a little skit that's not at all real or whatever applicable to like what BetterHelp really does. I honestly have no fucking idea how their therapy sessions work or what is going on. So, But from what I've gathered and what I've kind of um, inferred from the information that's being provided to the public about what their sessions have been like, it may very well be something similar to that. Because in fact, I mean, there's one person who's been shown that she's tried over and over again to like make uh, contact with her therapist and it never happened. Um, I just wanted to kind of go into more about like what the BetterHelp thing or what the BetterHelp story has evolved into and how our girl Amberlynn Reed ties into all this. But first I want to talk about the Phil DeFranco response video to the um, accusations or um, the information that has been gathered the, thus far. Again, I'm going to like link to the channel down below that I feel is doing the best job at kind of exposing the in, in, inner workings of all of this, and that's Memology 101. So again, go and look at their series. They keep updating it. They keep finding more and more new information. The thing that, and I'm not gonna go too far in depth about the inner, ins and outs of the TOS and the stuff and all that other stuff. I just kind of want to talk about Phil DeFranco's video in general, because it kind of it kind of annoyed the fuck out of me to be real. Um, I don't think Phil DeFranco is a bad person. I think he's a generally decent dude. I just felt like he was extremely, extremely condescending in his video. I felt that he just thought that his audience or the people that were trying to get more information about what was going on were stupid, and thus they didn't deserve an explanation or a, or a well. Um, a more transparent look into like the inner workings of his relationship with BetterHelp and how his relationship with BetterHelp intensified or what is he, or how BetterHelp through him was able to reach way more YouTubers to get way more subscriptions to their service. I feel like that was just incredibly unethical. I didn't like it at all. And he kept going in about how um, he was no longer sponsored by them. He was no longer um, associating with them until he finds out more. But in my opinion, the entire first two, three minutes of the fucking video was a testimonial about how great he thinks BetterHelp is and how, and I mean, he may very well think that, but I just think it's a little unfair. It's a mischaracterization to be like, well, I'm stopping my sponsorships while having their logo on the screen for the whole fucking video and talking about how amazing you think the service is and how everyone, how you think that everyone who's criticizing them is dumb for not agreeing with that. But unfortunately, I've been on the receiving end of just ridiculous accusation after ridiculous accusation regarding BetterHelp. People saying I'm this, this mastermind scammer who's running a Ponzi scheme. I just need to address this bullshit before moving forward. I usually do not stop for every barking dog, but this is this has gotten to a situation that is just ridiculous. All that said, let's talk about BetterHelp. They're an online counseling service. I've used it, I've loved it. I've made no secret whatsoever that they've sponsored my videos in the past. And today, and also I'm brought to you by betterhelp.com slash DeFranco. Brought to you by betterhelp.com slash DeFranco. Brought to you by betterhelp.com slash DeFranco. And I hit that note because certain versions of this story involve me sneaking in some sort of sponsorship, which is just not accurate. And how would that even make sense since I my name's literally in the URL? Also, an important part that has been excluded or glossed over by some telling this story, I immediately suspended my sponsorships with them moving forward. And I announced that last week when I first learned of the concerning language in their terms and conditions. I immediately suspended new sponsorships and I immediately reached reached out to them for a comment. And if you want to just came off very, it reminded me a lot of like the Fine Brothers apology video when they got called out for trying to trademark the word react and they were, they were trying so vehemently to like counteract the narrative that was being established about how them trademarking this word and trademarking the format was just gonna fuck over a bunch of other React channels and how in the past they had actually did try to stop people from uh, making React videos and stuff as if like they were like the birthing fathers of it. Like, you know, it just, it reminded me a lot of that where it was like an apology but a non-pology and it was just kind of more, instead of just being like, look, like, I understand this looks scummy and like I understand that that this isn't turning out how it was supposed to turn out but like goddamn dude like do you have to be 
a dick about it too? Like, do you have to like pretend that the people who are questioning you and your motives are just complete and utter assholes? Because yes, I'm sure there are some people that are coming at you really hard, but I also think there are people like me who are just kind of like, dude, what the fuck? Like, this doesn't look right. This doesn't, you know? And I'm a part of the the camp where it's like, if you look weird, you're going to be weird. And if you look greedy, you're going to be greedy. And the thing looks greedy. So you probably are in, you probably therefore are being greedy about this. And, you know, money makes people change. And, you know, I'm not going to even get into the whole Patreon shit. Like, you know, if you want to spend your money, how you want to spend your fucking money and you want to give Phil DeFranco money, then give Phil DeFranco money. I really don't care. Like, and if, if you feel like your money is being utilized, how you said it was going to be utilized, then more power to you or whatever. But I don't think people understood that you had this marketing company working where you were actively using your company and another company to spread this sponsorship to a, a bunch of other YouTubers who I think otherwise would not have gone through with it or like used it. But because Phil DeFranco was kind of signing off on it, they also signed off on it too. And then you're getting these like huge incentives or these huge cut, cut like payouts back to you for like exploiting people's mental illness. Like it, I just don't think, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't look good that if someone, if a, a 19 year old or a 17 year old signs up on betterhelp.com and they pay $300 a month for the service that you get 200 back. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't look right. And I'm not saying that like obvious, I mean, obviously there's psychologists and psychiatrists and all these people that make a living off of mental health and helping people. But like, you're not doing that. Like you're not, you're not actively helping people. <laughs> you're just helping a company get more increased signups and increase money. Like you're not sitting there in the sessions helping people, nor are you qualified to, so I wouldn't expect you to. But I just feel like it's it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look right. And then the way that you you phrase your transparency or you fr or the way that you talk in your apology it's not an apology video. I don't know why I keep telling that your non-apology video, you just talk to the audience as if we're fucking stupid, as if we have no idea how mental health works in this world or how companies work in this world. And if that's the case, and if we are stupid, then you're just as stupid because you kept talking in the, in the video about how you didn't know, you weren't aware of the terms of service. You weren't aware, like if everyone else was able to go through and read the terms of service to figure out that this looked fucking shady, then you should have been able to too. Like that, it wasn't, there wasn't anything preventing you from reading the terms of service and not knowing that you were in, in fact helping, I don't even say investing because I don't know if that's really the true case, but helping this company with this shady ass method get to more, get their hands into more wallets of people who are already being, who are already in a desperate place. So it's like, you should have known better. You and you're, if if that's your company's business motto, if your company's business motto is to just team up with other companies without actually vetting them properly, then your company fucking sucks. And maybe you need to like do some like re guide, do some new guidelines, reorganization, or what? I hire on some more people that know what the fuck they're doing because you got caught with your pants down and you got caught with your hand in the cookie jar. And I think that's really what it comes down to and why Phil DeFranco is like such a dick. He's being such a dick about it is because a bun he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar and a bunch of other U YouTubers got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. And now they're upset like that. They have to like explain themselves. So, you know, I don't know. It, I just found that whole video to just be, I don't know. I just found it so scummy and just so just like not, at all what I expected from him. I thought he would be a little bit more sincere in the way he was going to approach this, but apparently he's just going to double down on it. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see like what comes of this. But from my, on my, on my end, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good from better helps end. it doesn't look good with what, how Phil DeFranco is involved. And it doesn't look good with how other YouTubers are involved because as much as you want to like sit here and pretend that you're like trying to spread awareness that these other YouTubers are trying to spread awareness. They weren't, they got contacted by rogue rocket or better help about making a video. And they would say, here, here's your affiliate link. And if you get a bunch of people to sign up, then you can get a lot of money too. And so, okay, well, then I'll come on camera and talk about how depressed I am and how my, my anxiety might be a little bad because, like, I went to Starbucks and they gave me a white chocolate mocha instead of a pumpkin spice latte. You know, like, it's so, I don't know. I just, it really bothered me and it continues to bother me. How does Amberlynn Reed fit into all of this? Now, PewDiePie made a video. I just thought it was hilarious how 
shady he was with the way he edited it because everyone else in the video he mentions and he like uses their their link in the bottom to like like this no not their link but their name in the bottom like this is who i'm talking about this is the person but he like completely blurred out amberlin and becky they say themselves that they don't diagnose the platform is not intended for diagnosis but then you have really questionable videos of youtubers saying i suffer with binge eating, which I do want to talk to you guys about because I was officially diagnosed with binge eating disorder by my therapist. Mm -hmm. I was officially diagnosed by their therapist. Okay, who who diagnosed you? If you guys have ever heard of betterhelp.com. Oh really, so you were officially diagnosed by a therapist. Therapists should not diagnose you by the way and better help themselves say that, but still apparently it happens. I knew I, I had a strong feeling. I didn't know it was going to be PewDiePie, but I had a strong feeling when all of this started to pop off that, and when Amberlin was doing this, like I remember reacting to it and even like talking about it. I remember being like, this isn't going to go well because she set herself up in a place where now she's going to be used as an example, regardless of how, what, what kind of integrity she has or, you know, anything like that. The truth is that she does have 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. So there's a lot of people watching her videos. And if, and I kind of felt like BetterHelp was going to blow up eventually and something a lot like this was going to happen. So it's not, I'm not surprised that they're going to use her as an example because you have someone going on camera and without any qualms or any kind of background being like, well, I was diagnosed on betterhelp.com, you know? So, you know, PewDiePie put her in his video as a as an example, like I knew she would. And I, I have a feeling that she's gonna be used a lot more co going forward when all of this continues to unfold. And I feel like there's either three, w there's either three ways that this is gonna go. Okay, the first way is that she's a fucking liar. Now we, we know that she's lied before and she continues to lie and she will, probably always continue to lie because that's just how her, that's her, that's how she operates. I'm gonna actually be kind of nice about Amberlynn. Oh God. I'm gonna actually be a little nice to her right now. Now, the other two options are either BetterHelp is a fucking mess and their counselors don't know what the fuck they're doing. And she was in fact told that she had binge eating disorder, which is, which is looking more and more probable as all this goes on and seeing how these counselors aren't really counselors or how these counselors are in like really shady positions or they've done really fucked up things and they're not being properly vetted. It could be very well, it could be very true that someone who has no business doing therapy was matched up with her and now, and they in fact told her that you have binge eating disorder and so she ran with it. Or the third one is that they were talking and she kept talking about, she had been diagnosed with binge eating disorder in the past and he, the, the counselor, the woman, the man could have very well just been like, well, that could be true. You know, like, you know, just something very like a one-off or not even, you know, and that confirmed, to, that was all the confirmation she needed and so she ran with it. So I could, it could be a mix, it could be those different, three different things. Now, do I think she's gonna come on here and like clear her name? Probably not, like I don't, cause I don't think she fucking cares that much, you know, so, but I do think she should be prepared for like that clip of her and Becky sitting at that table to be reused over and over again as these other channels continue to make these better help uh, videos trying to expose them for being not the service that they claim to be and not being as properly vetted and you know, all that good stuff. So I do, I don't know. I don't know how she's going to be able to handle the crit criticism. I mean, PewDiePie did her a great service by blurring her out and not saying her name because although I don't think PewDiePie's fans are like rabid or anything, I do think that they would flood her channel and be like, ooh, you got caught, bitch. Like, so um, I don't know. I, th I don't know. I think that she really fucked herself by doing that. And it it's one thing to like talk about your therapy sessions and stuff like that. But with something like BetterHelp, she would have just been better just keeping her mouth shut and just like, you know, like kind of like how she does now. She supposedly goes to her real life therapist and like, you know, she doesn't really talk about it too much or too in depth. She just talks about like her being there and her wanting to take her fucking dog there and all that shit. So I don't know. I think that she, I think this is going to kind of come back to bite her in the ass a little bit, but I don't think it's going to do it in a way that like is going to like end her channel or anything like that. If anything, I think it would just give her more traffic because everyone loves controversy. So, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of make a video explaining where I am with the whole Phil DeFranco, BetterHelp, PewDiePie, Amberlynn thing. 
and let me know what you think down below. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Um, remember to like the comment or remember to like the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, toodles.